the first thing let's talk about our heart when I say your heart I don't mean that thing in your heart that pumps blood when I when Bible speaks about your heart it's not talking about the purity of a physical organ it's talking about a purity of a human spirit a heart is a man's spirit a heart is actually who you are on inside it's your spirit on inside not your emotions not your mind that is your soul your spirit is your conscience your subconscious and your intuition your spirit is actually who you really are on inside what you see right now is a person's body who you don't see is the real person when you call Vladimir you actually and I come that's my body but the real Vlad is inside of this body who you cannot see that's my spirit that is who I am you must understand that we as Christians and we as humans first of all as humans we are spirits who live inside of the body when you grow up in school in a typical modern school today where they teach you that uh, especially intelligent people they teach you very intelligent so-called things that most likely we have come from monkeys and you teach that to a kid who is very young that he comes from monkeys then he grows into high school you teach him more you give him more evidence that he comes from monkeys and monkeys are animals and the difference between monkeys is that monkeys have bodies but they don't have spirits inside so when you teach a generation that you are a monkey and they look at their life as that's all i have is a body inside it's interesting that by the time they graduate they begin to act like monkeys and therefore when you have teenagers you don't teach them abstinence you give them condoms because you don't teach abstinence to monkeys animals cannot be taught self-control animals have to be managed around their wildness and that's exactly what we have in our generation and we have this epidemic we're like why do we have unwanted pregnancies why do we have sexual transmitted disease and we have to bring the teaching in school of teaching these kids that they need to behave and act when in reality when you program a software in their mind that they do not have a spirit but that they only bodies and their monkeys their behavior will copy that and then no amount of teaching no amount of condoms and no amount of other lectures will actually undo the damage that you create to a person by calling them a descendant from an animal but then we go to another extreme and that is the religion and religion of course we abhor the idea that we come from monkeys we elevate another idea which is also very dangerous where we try to teach people or pretend or give people unrealistic idea to become angels now angels have another dilemma monkeys have bodies and they don't have spirits angels have spirits they don't have bodies and therefore angels do not have sexuality like you do angels do not have relationship things like you do they do not have that and many times when people come to a church or they come to a religious sector they immediately say well if God is, is to please be pleased with me I have to become like an angel I have to be a person who has no desire for relationships I have to be a person who is completely void of those things I have to be like an angel but the reality you cannot be an angel because you have something angels don't you have a body therefore you are not an animal you are not an angel you are a human you have a spirit inside and as a person who has a spirit inside you have to control your sexuality not live like an animal where your sexuality controls you and not to pretend to be an angel where you pretend or try to reach a certain state where you don't have a sexuality you do have it it was given to you by God at the day of your birth by giving you a body and as a spirit being inside you have to control it why this is very important because purity in the bible is always connected to the heart the bible says blessed are the pure in heart blessed are the people who have pure in heart we read right now that pure clean hands and pure hearts what does this mean that means that your spirit is where everything starts not with your head or not with your mind 